Hello everyone and welcome to another class video about uh, um, Cannoneer. We will um, talk about this, this class specifically um, about the two legendary weapons because without uh, legendary weapons uh, Cannoneer is utter garbage. So that's that. Um, words before, things to note is um, the terror skill that I found the most useful is heavy armor, so the green or emerald skill, since it reduces the cooldown of heat exchange. You can go for the red skill, but um, I have talked with other people and they found it uh, utterly clustered. Fuck, that doesn't really help damage at all. And the uh, yellow one will just increase your shield, so it's rather a PvP thing, so not as much useful. But this can be helpful in many ways, and I will show you why and how, but now let's go over to the legendary weapons that we will use, or can use. First is Kara, Messenger of Death. Kara Messenger of Death um, tra transforms your Plasma Stream into the Disintegration Ray, which increases the damage significantly. Um, also, when you have the buff after using it, you will reduce 10 seconds from your ultimate cooldown instead of 5 seconds, which is really great. So, that's that. The thing about why I talked about heat exchange is it increases your damage from the plasma rifle, which is now in, which is now the, um, Tommy, it's now the, the disintegration ray. So it also increases this damage, and you don't have the need to have energy to use it, which is also great. So we will. Now go for a bursting. We take our laser stance. We are putting our ultimate for bur for buffing the damage. We press the red skill to increase our damage and mindlessly shooting. So we directly change to generate energy because we need at least one more go in between to finish this. So get your ultimate ready. We are now lasering in in between. And we got our ultimate reset. We changed the rocket stance right away to reduce the cooldown of our um, heat exchange. As I can see it's now ready. We can go for another burst. Well, and that's it, what you basically will do the whole time. Now we have again ultimate and can start lasering away. And repeat and repeat and repeat. That's basically our damage combination. As you can see, its integration rate deals a good amount of damage. It is time consumingly to do everything. So it might be a problem to get your ultimate reset all day. When you have the sound river in your team and you can stand in the green boxes, it's possible that you will reset your ultimate faster with it and you can save up for going two time energy discharging and can just go like use your ultimate, do your burst, do your um, energy stuff once again to reduce it and go straight for missiles, instead of you doing it twice. This should be auto possible for it. But this would require you to have the setup right. If not, you maybe either need to 
refrain from using your ultimate on every rotation or you have to um, wait out a bit longer before you can burst with your team. So if your team is bursting on the 40 second uh, cooldown window you will have uh, more more time to uh, get, you, get it over. Like if you would do it it would be like going this Laser this straight away. Now you are like pushing this down and you are totally not caring about the uh, cooldown of your ultimate at all. And you let the sound weaver with the green buff reduce it, hopefully in time for you to burst once again. This is possible. But again depends on your setup. But this is what you can do with Sekera. The next weapon on our list now is the Mines. The Mines changes in such that when you use your Rocket Stance, you are getting an extra skill that replaces your normal C with an Integral Pulse that deals um, the damage of three times. Of, uh, three times. Uh, no, 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 wait. Different way. It replaces it with a special skill that allows you to shoot, shoot us a pulse that deals a good amount of damage and allows you to launch three rockets at once at an enemy while it's lasting. Also, while you're attacking with missiles, you can recharge this effect. The so integral pulse itself can't crit. And when you go into Gatling Modus or Machine Gun Mode, you will just have a chance to regenerate rockets. To abuse it as I would do it, they are like, going rocket stands, put on this stuff, shoot the integrator room, and shoot. So that's it. You have now done this. You're activating the energy recharge to get a free lasering without the need to build energy. Again, now you can either depend on your team to reduce the cooldown of your ultimate significantly enough to redo it, or you do like me and rebuild the energy once again and reduce the cooldown. So, meanwhile, everything is ready, you can go for the next bursting. Well, and that's basically it. After that, it's just the returnage of everything we done, we we done before. Well, and that's basically it. As you can see, it's a uh, thing here is like the carapers uh, for that on a, on a bit longer time duration. This is a shorter, ta uh, shorter time window, but you can see the damage is all lining up. So it's a possible good damage dealing. So, I hope I could help you, and I wish you all a nice day. Enjoy your, enjoy your day. And